I'm Sam. And I'm Greg. We're, We're human, human beings. beings. And, and we, we like, like movies. movies. We'll be doing reviews of brand new releases. Old classics. Entire sagas. And even TV shows and video games. This, this is Reaction Time. Time. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to episode 72 of Reaction Time Podcast. Podcast. Um, real quick. Yeah. Super spoiler free. Spoiler free. For the beginning of this, because we're going to be talking about The Bear. Both seasons. Seasons one and two. Yep. Because season three is and coming our, out soon. It's coming out. Ouch. Our goal so here. Excited. Our goal here is to educate and enlighten and help convince you to watch yes. seasons one and two. Yes. And then three. Yes. Because just to start off, many people, when they hear about the show, ask the same question, which is the question that I asked not even one month ago, which was, it's a show about a restaurant. What's the appeal? Yeah. It's, I don't know, but there's appeal. <laughs> I don't know if they appeal anything, but. <laughs> they peel a lot of things, man. <laughs> And they zest things, and they cook. It is so it's engaging, definitely one of a kind. It's so engaging, and I don't know why. Because honestly, when you think about it, yeah, it's just basically about this group that's trying to basically. They already have a restaurant. Run a restaurant. They, yeah, they already have yeah. it. They're just trying to make it bigger, better, own it. You know, make it become famous, pretty much. Yeah, that's all it is. But yeah, exactly. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's I think the reason it's so relatable is it's like almost like a car accident. Mm -hmm. Not relatable, sorry. The reason it's engaging <laughs> is because it's like a car accident. When you're driving down the freeway, you know how everybody slows down when they don't actually need to? Yep. It's because everybody wants to see it. Yep. And that's basically what the entire show is. It's anxiety inducing. Oh yeah. It's it's all sorts of things. It's, I don't even know exactly how to explain it's it. It's just beautifully directed. The writing is mm -hmm. incredible. You feel for all the characters. Um yeah. And it that's I that's like the biggest thing is it there's very few breaks in this show. It is just go, oh, go, go, stress, anxiety, but in a good way. Which I might be looking into this a little bit too much, but if you've ever worked in the food industry, it the show has the same energy as working rush hour at a restaurant. Yeah. The whole thing is go, go, go. If you stop for a moment, you would die. Yep. That's the energy of the show. The whole show. Which is so anxiety-inducing. <laughs> I told Craig, I said, I never had anxiety in my whole life, ever, about anything, really. But this show gave it to me. Yep. <laughs> in a good way. It is a good way. I suppose. That's the thing. It's like, it's... You don't want anxiety in your life, but at the same time, it it's so good. I, yeah, and yeah. It, it goes away when you stop watching. Like, I would say kind of. an hour <laughs> to two hours after I watch an episode, the anxiety, like, simmers down yeah. a little bit, and I can <laughs> sleep. But while I'm watching it, oh, it's, there's a, especially a few episodes that are just... Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's so, it's just interesting because it's very uh, based in reality, and characters who are unlikable become likable. Yep. And characters who are likable become unlikable. Yep. And people go through waves and people grow and all this stuff. And there's only, there's 18 or 19 episodes between the first two seasons. I think there's 18. Yeah. The first season, I believe, is eight. The second is 10. ten. And they are able to take people through really good arcs in a short amount of time. Yeah. And it's just I don't know. Cuz most of the episodes are shorter. Great. They're not there's one episode that's like an hour and a half or something. Oh yeah. And all the other ones yeah, are like super long. 
20 to 40 minutes. 30, 40. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. they accomplished what most TV shows struggle to do in multiple seasons of 40 minute episodes that are like 24 episodes long. They managed to do yeah. that in 18 episodes like a thousand times better. Yeah, it's, it's really, really impressive because um, here I am again, but you look at like Star Wars or even Marvel and the shows that they've made over the past few years and they're, it, they really, really struggle to get the show to go anywhere. Yeah. And in The Bear, in a, two seasons, in a, such a short amount of time, you go so far just development-wise in every single aspect. Yeah. Story, characters, everything. It just, it moves along nicely, but it doesn't rush through things. No. Which is, it's it's almost baffling what this show does. But it's also always it's, a rush. <laughs> it's always a rush. It's very hard to explain so this hard. show without seeing it. Yeah. And nobody, nobody explained it to me, like, sufficiently... Before I watched it. No. it's Because you can kind of just say like, oh, it's this show about these people who like run a restaurant. And that's kind of not even be because of spoilers, but that's just, that is the premise of the show. Yeah, yeah. That's all the spoilers. That's all you need to know. It's it's just, but it's not what you think it is. No, it's, it's not. It's not the Great British <laughs> Baking Show or Chopped or or whatever. No, this is a very it's realistic definitely not, take. Is it cake? Yeah, so I, uh, it's just, I, I really, really recommend that people watch it. Yeah, it felt so real. There are some, mm -hmm. there are some scenes in this movie, this movie, this show, that are like hard to watch. Like, oh, like, yeah. like fights that characters have. And it's just like, oh my gosh, that's like, they just said something horrible or like, and it's it's mm -hmm. like it's hard to watch, but it's real, right? I mean, when you get to a moment where you're you're at your lowest and you just blow up, you say things that you yeah. don't mean, you know? Yeah. And so they just they blended it all together so well. The way it's written and the way it's filmed and the way it's acted. It, all of that together makes the show do a very good job of making you feel like you are actually there. Yeah. Which is why I feel like a lot of the things feel, you're able to feel the show a lot more because like you're saying, when people are like having these conversations that are like you don't, oh, you you almost feel like you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Seeing this conversation. Like it almost feels awkward to you. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I should leave the room for this. Right. But you're not in the room. You're watching it on TV. But it feels yeah. so much like you are there. Yeah. Which is very impressive. Very impressive. Because I can't say that I've watched... I can't say I've watched a lot of things that make me feel like that. Or anything. I can't... I don't know if I can name something. Well, you even, right you even now think of like... makes me feel that. Well, you even think of like Breaking Bad, which is probably yeah. one of the greatest written shows. But it's still... There's still that disconnect, Right. Because it's like, yeah, yes, there are relatable things in that show, but there's also stuff that, like, I can't relate to killing somebody, you know? No, killing somebody, being in the drug right. thing, messing with the cartel, all of that kind of stuff removes you a little bit. Yeah. And I think partially it being set, even though it's set, what is it set, 15 years ago? Breaking Bad at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah, Something around there. Uh... But just everything, I mean, the bear is set right now. Yeah. And yeah. there's zero things in it that are unrealistic. Yeah. Like it's all, it all feels so, so real. So real. Um, Which, it's just, I don't know. I, it, it is hard to explain. <laughs> it's so hard to explain. You just need to watch it. But it's, it's so worth a watch. It is rated TV mature only for language. Yes, that's it. Um. There's a lot of language. It yeah. feels a lot like if you are in the kitchen yeah. at a restaurant. <laughs> if people are just just in case anybody out, knows what that up is. A store, storm. Yep. <laughs> but there's there's literally nothing else. It, no. it says TV mature. It says language. So you don't have to worry about other things. If there are things like that that worry you, there's no gore. There's no sex. There's no nudity. There's no blah 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 blah. blah right. No. Um, 
And so, and it just, that's, I mean, that's the reality we live in anyway. Most yeah. workplaces, it's, I mean, especially restaurant and kind of production. Fast, the, the actual fast paced environment. Yeah. Even though everybody says a fast paced environment, <laughs> um, restaurants are, it's, it's, it's a one for one. It's, it's very, very realistic in that aspect. Yeah. Well, what would so you, it's definitely worth the watch. What would you? We're not really going to do like our out of thousand. We'll do an out of thousand score when we watch season three. But what would yeah. kind of be your out of ten for season one and two? Oh man, so high. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I'm probably looking at like a nine point seven okay. or eight. Really, really high. Yeah. Um, the first couple episodes, I watched them, and I was like, okay. I, I I would say after maybe, I'm trying to remember exactly because the whole show does just blur together. Yeah. But I'm going to say after probably the first two episodes, I was like, okay, I don't think I get it. Mm -hmm. I don't get the hype because the first two episodes really truly are like almost like a documentary crew goes in and watches people work. Literally. Almost like that. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, is the whole show going to be like this? Right. And then it's it's kind of not. And they just... It just builds. Well, and they just start the show. Like, they don't introduce anybody. Yeah. It's just starting yeah, just, the show, and you just kind of try to piece it together. So the first... I agree with that, because yeah. we were, like, end of episode two, and we're like, okay, mm -hmm. it's engaging enough, but we're like, what is this going to be? And they really do just throw yeah. you in. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels... So what I think is really interesting, too, is there's a character in this show named Sydney, mm -hmm. and she ends up being one of the... She's one of the main characters. Yeah. And I almost... Like, I think you think the show is about Jeremy Allen White's character. Right. Which it is about him, but I think the show is actually made more from... Sydney's perspective because yeah, she yeah. just kind of shows up one day in the middle of all this yeah. and she's just thrown into it and then she's there. Yeah. And that's exactly the experience that the viewer has. That's cool. And it's it's not filmed from her perspective or anything. She's not narrating the show. It's not necessarily in your face in that way, but I think you can relate with her because literally she walks in, she's like, I want to work here. And then she just does, and then she's just there. Yeah. So well, you you experience basically what she goes through with the show because you're like yeah. what's going on i'm confused i don't know what's happening and that's the same thing for her she just gets thrown into it and just has to yeah you know roll with the punches and yeah <laughs> try and get there yeah so it's it's really cool i mean they they do a very good job at introducing the characters very much surface level and everybody's mean. Yeah. Basically, right at the beginning. And then basically from episode two or three, they start showing you the depth of each character. Yeah. And it just, everybody has emotions and a backstory. I mean, obviously, it's like real life. Everybody oh, yeah. has emotions and a backstory. And they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing this that's wrong and they're trying to be here and... All, Everything that a person can go through, they they go through all of that. And it's just freaking, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, what would you give it? Yeah, I I think overall, overall, I would probably do a 9.8. Mm -hmm. There are three, maybe four episodes that I would give a 10 out of 10. Like... Oh, for sure. Easy 10 out of 10. I'm almost at the point where it's like season two is a 10. I, I'm I'm very close to that. There, yeah, there are it's, like it's it's really close. There's maybe like one section of season two that I didn't fully care about, just because I don't care yeah. as much about this character. But mm -hmm. everything else. I try to think why season two isn't just a 10 out of 10. I mean, it yeah. it feels like a perfect season. It's so good. Yeah. And even how it ends is so good. For sure. It's, oh, and there's one episode in season two that is, <laughs> what, absolutely, I, I do not say this lightly, 
It is one of the best episodes of television yes. of all time. Yes. Uh, yes. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> that is with Breaking and Bad it, and Better Call Saul both in there. I think it uh, might be better than those. My favorites yeah. of those shows too. It's that yeah. good. It's. I don't. It's it's so hard to even say why, but just what it tries to do, it does perfectly. Yeah, that's I think the biggest the biggest thing because I think it's easy to look at maybe the best episodes of <clears throat> maybe a, a specific show or whatever, and it's like, oh, this is the best episode because this is memorable and this is memorable. Yeah. But I think what really makes an episode like perfect is just nailing what it's trying to do. Right. And I think no matter what. If you nail what you're trying to do, unless what you're trying to do is really stupid, <laughs> uh, you can achieve like actual greatness. Right. And I right. think that's what that episode does. So yeah. And you told me is wait is it that episode? No, it's a different episode that's shot as a oneer because that one's not a oneer mm, as a one shot. I don't think so. But you yeah, there is one there, one episode there. that's shot as a one shot. <laughs> Which is incredible. I didn't even know it was. I didn't even notice that it and was that, until you told me cool after I watched it. Yeah, because they're not. They're not really just trying to like throw it in your face, but mm -hmm. if you watch it again, or if anybody who's listening, I guess you won't know the exact episode, but it's just so crazy and. Knowing that that episode's one of the most like chaotic, anxiety inducing episodes, and it's all a one shot, it's just insane. Yeah, insane. Yeah, season. Let's see. Is it season one? Oh, season it's, one. It's the last seven? episode. Oh, of the first season. I think so. Episode seven. Oh, it's oh. seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, seven. Yeah, so it's not the last episode. There's a whole article on how they did it, so I'm going to definitely read that. Yeah, it's crazy. Later. But that's really cool. I yeah. wonder if they really... I mean, almost no movie or show that does a one-shot is, is actually a, a one-shot. One -shot. So I am curious to know if this one actually is because I know that there's a possibility that it is. So I mean, this says is the bear. I doubt it. This says is the bear episode seven actually one take, and it says why it was rewritten to be a single take. But I don't know if that um is fully. I, when I was looking it up the last time. I thought it was, like, a legit one shot. Because, like, was it 1917? I'm skimming this, and it... I, so, 1917 was almost one shot. Right, there's, it like, a couple like, scenes. It was, like, three or four total yeah. um, actual... Like, like, a, like a tank uh, goes shots. by, and they use that motion blur to yeah, cut the scene. Yeah, when the tank goes by, when he jumps into the water. Right. And there's, like, a couple other ones. Yeah. This, every, I'm skimming this right now, but it looks like it actually is one shot, which is incredible. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, it's 18 minutes. Yeah, so here's a quick, quick quote somebody's talking about. He says, we get into minute eight or nine, and Chris is now standing up, and we're all standing, and then we get to minute 18 or 19, and we're like, get there, get there, get there. It was literally like cheering absolute pandemonium. Dude. So they definitely they definitely did it all in one that shot, is which insane. is so cool. It's so cool. I mean, on one hand, it's like, that's the coolest thing ever. On the other, you're like, well, a play is all one shot. And so, but but you add in the aspect of cinematography. Well, and focus and all of that. And yeah. it's, that's incredible. Well, because a play, yeah, it's all one take, but you're just yeah. looking at a screen, right? You're not following yeah. different angles. You're not doing different things. This is also not just a normal episode this is the most chaotic crazy episode i think i've seen in my life so you yeah. add that in a one take and it's like dang they didn't do a one take on a basic easy episode they did a one take on something that already would on be difficult chaos. to make yeah yeah <laughs> which I can almost guarantee, I mean, obviously, I didn't know that it was a one take while I was watching it, but I'll bet now 
like looking back, I'll bet that is a huge factor yeah. in adding to that anxiety and that It never chaos. cuts away. You never get a break from no. it. You never cut at all. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Bravo <laughs> to them. Bravo. Super bravo. That's a definite oh, 10 out of so 10 cool. for me. That episode I'm was honestly, fantastic. I'm honestly, I'm going to go, I'm going to go back and watch. Oh, it's only 18 minutes long. Yeah, it's, it's, 18 it's super short. Minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go back and rewatch that. For sure. Yeah. Because that's incredible. Oh, wow. Freaking amazing. Oh, and the other thing, this was the other one that I was talking about. Um, no, oh, no, never mind. No, keep going. Sorry. Oh, just kidding. Well, that was it. Okay, that was it for me. Um, we want. Do you want to talk? I mean, do you want to chat spoilers? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple things uh, I wanted to talk about. Okay, we're gonna spoil season one and two. So if you're gonna go watch those, which I highly oh recommend. Oh my gosh, highly. Um, by the way, nobody I've talked to who has watched this show has said anything bad about it. So literally let that not. be one other uh, little thing. Everybody, I literally, the, I was getting my hair cut. And met my barber for the first time. And I'm talking to her. And she's like, are you watching any shows? And I was like, I actually just finished all my shows. And I told her about bodies and a three-body problem and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, what should I watch? And she's like, oh, The Bear. And I was like, I feel like people are telling me to watch The Bear. She's like, just watch it. It's about people working in a restaurant and it's crazy. And I was like, oh, <laughs> crazy. But no, she was right. So I'm going to have to go back to her now and be like, I watched The Bear. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's awesome. Okay. Well, subscribe. And then join us in a couple weeks for the last, for the third season, I mean, of The Bear. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get that out as soon as we can Um, when it releases on the 27th. Yeah. Because luckily all the episodes are coming out at once, so. Yeah. But, well, let's get into spoilers. Subscribe okay. to the podcast. Follow us, rate us, review us, love us, marry us. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I have a question. Yes. I have a few questions. Okay. So Richie's not his real cousin. Right? Is he not? That's what this article says. I thought he was his real cousin. I don't think so. Oh, okay, maybe they're just I just buddies. I'm I from the uh from the the dinner, the Christmas episode, I got really confused about relationships. So the douchebag uncle guy who's like, "I'm going to take your restaurant and sell it if you guys don't succeed." Who is that? <laughs> Crap. He's, I don't remember. <laughs> He's a type of uncle, kind of, but I don't get it because then he kisses freaking Jeremy Allen White's mom on the mouth. But maybe that's just how they do things uh, in their culture. Because it's not... There's just a few... It's not his dad. It's not like, no, it's not his dad. And it's not like he max her or anything, but he just comes up and gives her a kiss on the lips. Yeah, which could just be... So maybe it's his her brother, just, but that's worse. <laughs> Don't ever, everybody listen to me. Don't kiss your brother on the mouth. Okay, and don't kiss your sister on the mouth either. Don't do it. It's not worth Just it. Just don't kiss him on the mouth, okay? Yeah, yeah, I mean, all it says is Uncle Jimmy. Um, But I don't know. Yeah. And then Carmi's dad died. Yes. Do we know how? I don't think so. And Saul is his new stepdad. Y yes. And Jamie Lee Curtis is his mom. mom. And John Bernthal is his brother. Yes. And he has the sister. And then John Mulaney is married to or engaged to the girl from... Nope, that's not true. Different girl. That's his other sister the one with the short dark hair yes and then and then cousin was married to the girl from community yes 
But cousin is maybe not his actual cousin. Yes. Uncle Jimmy, it just says, is a close friend to the family and orig- gotcha. originally loaned $300,000 to Mikey to help the restaurant, the original beef. Gotcha. So, not an actual gotcha, uncle, gotcha, gotcha. just a really close friend. Okay. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> Who's your favorite character in the show? Oh. Liter- honestly, towards the end, Richie became my favorite. Dude, yeah. And I could not wait to get rid of him at the beginning. 100%. Of the show. 100%. I hated, hated him. Hated him. him. Which obviously they did on purpose. Yeah. But man, he becomes so likable. Yeah, they did such a when good he job goes, with that. It's when it's that episode that is almost all him when he goes to work at that restaurant. Forks. Is such a that's, good That's another 10 out of 10 episode. for me. Yeah. yeah. That episode when makes he meets you eyebrows. Like, feel so many things. Yeah. 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 The Maze Runner guy. Wait, no, he doesn't meet him. That's the other guy. What's the black guy's dessert's name? Oh, that's Marcus. Never mind. Sorry. Marcus, yeah. No, he goes, he goes, he goes to, to the restaurant. Um, he goes to the really fancy restaurant with the... With, uh, with the one lady, the British lady. The British lady and the Asian and, dude. Um, Secret Invasion. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, that's where I knew yeah. her from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's an incredible oh, episode. Such a good episode. Yeah. They just freaking... It's crazy. I mean, again, literally, Richie was just like, get him out of the show. Yeah. And then at the end, I'm like, bro, Carmen, I, what the hell, dude? <laughs> they arc his whole character in a single episode. Oh, my gosh. They literally It's amazing. Do. It's so good. Yeah. So the only... What's, who's your least favorite? My least favorite? Yeah. Man, a lot of... They all kind of become likable. I mean, I hate Jimmy. I hate everything about Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> Uncle Jimmy. I hate him. Every single thing about him, I hate him so far. Because I think he's up to no good. Yeah. I think he's going to end up becoming a full-on enemy. Ooh, That's my guess. You think so? I kind of think so. I think he's going to... I think he's going to do some... Shady stuff. Not even illegal shady stuff, but more like he's just going to be a jerk about things. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be like, oh, you guys lost $500 this quarter. I'm taking the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Or he's going to, like, pull some stuff like that. You think? I th- I just, I don't know. It's, he just seems like the type, just with everything he said. He seemed to get um, a little better at the end. Yeah. So I don't know. I really, from a, from a writing standpoint, I think, I really like Sydney. I don't know if I like her character, but I like what they do with her character because she's, like, really likable, and then you kind of hate her for some reasons, and then she's really likable, and then she's annoying as hell. Yeah. And then she's like... It's like they send her through all these different things, and you can tell <laughs> that she has a little bit of a... Maybe not a perfectionism, but a... she Like, this, this, this inherited need to prove herself... And to like be heard, mm-hmm. um, they just—I just think they do so well with showing the nuances of people's personalities, which you don't get in a lot of shows. Right, right. But these, like, you can tell, like, oh, this person has this quality, this very, very specific quality. Yeah. And I mean, they obviously give full-on displays of of certain people's like mental health issues. Oh yeah. But some people, it's just kind of a personality thing where. You know, maybe they have a need for uh, to be loud or to be violent or to be heard or to be right or just whatever. They they really play into those little nuanced things, which is cool. Yeah. I also love Marcus. Oh, Marcus is great. I actually... I would say Marcus is the most likable overall. Okay. He's just a sweetheart. He's great. He ain't never did nobody no wrong. Um, Richie has had the best arc. Mm-hmm. But I would say, I would say Carmi's the most fun to watch. He's so much fun to watch. He's so because good. He's, first of all, Jeremy Allen White's so good. Oh my gosh, so good. He's so good. But he's he's so unpredictable. The character is. Yeah, 
because things can be going so right too. And maybe this will change a little bit since, you know, he's kind of matured and everybody's matured a little bit. Maybe. But things could be going so right in the show and he'll just, he'll freak out at people. Oh, yeah. And you're like, hold on a second. Like, people are doing their jobs right. And he'll explode. And you're like, what the heck is happening? Well, the, literally the explosion of him and Richie at the last, in the last episode is like yeah. insane. Yeah. I mean, oh. they just, I mean, we'll get to that a little bit later, but I, I, Sydney's hard for me. Mm -hmm. I like her. But there's just, there's a lot of times where I'm like, eh. I don't know. I For some reason, there's just times I, where no, she bugs me. No, for sure, I feel the same way. And so I'm like. Yes, <laughs> but they do that on purpose. <laughs> I know they do. I absolutely think they're doing that on purpose. They 100% are. I know they are because they maybe hate Richie and then I love him at the end. So I, I know that they're doing yeah. it on purpose. <laughs> They've got us yeah. wrapped around their fingers. <laughs> oh, no, wait. The best character is a uh, fact. Oh. He is he's great. So dude. he's the most likable character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Marcus. <laughs> I do just think it's so interesting that they're able to make every character so different without them all being your standard different types of characters in a mm -hmm, show. Mm -hmm. You know, in other shows, you've got the funny one, the dark one. Uh, the smart one, the whatever, right? All these really right. basic characteristics. But here you have the divorced dad who barely gets to see his kid, who's kind of a deadbeat, but yep. has a good sense of humor, but it's also selling coke in the back alley yep. and is going to become one of your favorite characters if he can just yep. learn to listen and to, and to care. And it's like, there's that character. Yep. And then you move on to another character, and it's just, <laughs> it's so cool. And they're all different. It's so cool. And they're all so different. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I have a question for you. So in episode, yeah. so in episode seven, basically, if you're listening to this and you haven't seen the show and you're like, you guys are dumb, I'm never going to watch it. Episode seven, you're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Sydney has set up online ordering but Ugh. she forgot to turn it off when they're not there and so they kind of get this like burst of of um what what's the word i'm trying to think of like fame because of i think there's some article about them or oh yeah somebody writes a, a little uh food review piece yeah of paper. so then they set up online but they can order whenever they want there's no time limit to when they're open so they come in mm -hmm. and the orders are just coming like crazy and there's is that right when them. doesn't it start right when they open yeah yeah so it like hits whatever o'clock and then they just start rolling they start rolling and they do not stop they do not stop so she's done and he says we got to make 55 burgers 55 <laughs> fries 55 shakes 100 pizzas, 100 tacos. Hold on, That's hold literally on, what I'm it reminded something. me of. <laughs> That's basically what it sounded like. And I was like, oh my gosh. So this is the scary version. They're trying to make all this food. Everything, everybody is just freaking the F out. Everybody. Yeah. Marcus is just in his own world making donuts. Not, which is amazing. Which is amazing. But he's not helping anybody mm -hmm. because he's just trying to make donuts. So Carmen freaks out, right? He goes over there. They're trying to make all these orders. He realized that Marcus hasn't been doing anything that he was supposed to be doing. He's just been working on these donuts. And so he smacks the donut out of his hand that Marcus was, like, super proud of. Yeah. Then, is it, is it in the next episode or is it in season two when Marcus and Sydney are talking about it? or just like the repercussions mm -hmm. of it, Carmen apologizes to Marcus for what he did. But Marcus never apologized. I understand that Carmen did an a-hole mm. thing, but at the same time, Marcus was not listening at all. Like he was just doing sure. his own thing, making donuts. So I get, I get like it was like, bro, it was like the donut of his life, right? Like this is like... 
his masterful piece right here, I get that it was like a super rude thing for Carmen to smack that out of his hand. But I was like, bro, Marcus, you also were being a jerk by not following true. any orders or doing anything. I, it bothered me. It bothered me that only Carmen said sorry and not Marcus. I didn't even think. Oh about yeah, that. I was like, I get it, but mm. he should also have been sorry. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> what they had sure. fifty-five burgers, fifty-five fries, fifty-five shakes. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm gonna piece those together because that would be so funny. He like Dude. rolls over, he's like fifty-five burgers, fifty-five fries with this, shit. and then it cuts to the bear. He's like, we didn't throw that cheeseburger. Blah, blah, blah. That would be actually amazing. be really funny. I can make that in two seconds. That would be amazing. Post it. That'll be our next TikTok. Yeah. Follow us on TikTok if you want to see that, you guys. Yeah. We post every It'll once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every once in a while. Mm. Man, what a show. What a show. And there's is there anything that I, you want to talk about? I mean, I just had like random things, but we don't even necessarily need to. Yeah. No, because I don't think we need to go through the whole show necessarily. Yeah. Um, I think I've touched on most stuff, okay. honestly, that I want to talk about. I do love that they that they start the new restaurant at the end of season two. Yeah. And that they actually... I like that they have a, an episode dedicated to kind of their first night, right? They have like the friends and family yep. night. Yep. And I feel like it would be a really basic uh, kind of sh show-making tactic to end the first season or the second season with them like, okay, time to time to do this. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. they end before they actually show it, yeah. right? And it's like, oh, cliffhanger, what's going to happen? Yeah. I love that they, they show it and it goes well. Yeah, yeah. Because now they set up season two to start well, Season whereas three. normally, or sorry, season three, whereas normally I feel like they people wouldn't do that. Right, right? right. They'd set it up so that they can decide, oh, do we want this to go well or not, mm -hmm. like between seasons? And so now you know that the restaurant at least is functioning decently well. Yeah. And so maybe, I, I don't know. I have no idea what season three is going to bring. I don't because know. Anything can happen. Anyone can become a villain. <laughs> Anybody can die. <laughs> Anyone can die. Anyone can have a huge meltdown. The restaurant can go under in a heartbeat. 100%. It won't because they wouldn't have a show, probably. Uncle Jimmy Unless... could become Gus. Uncle Jimmy could become Gus. <laughs> That's true. Can you imagine if they just do a crossover with Breaking Bad? <laughs> That'd be Walter amazing. Walter comes back from the dead. Richie, Richie's um, selling the Coke in the back. <laughs> He knows he just, Jesse just appears. He's like, "Oh, Jesse, my man, what's up?" He comes back. He's like, "Time to sling crystal, bro." Um, mm. but yeah, I'm just super excited. I'm curious what they're gonna do with Carmen and Claire's relationship because it ended. What bad. do you think's gonna happen? It's hard. Did it end bad? A hundred percent. Remember, because he's stuck in the fridge. The handle yeah. has broken on the fridge. Mm -hmm. He's freaking out. And so he's saying that, you know, he was wrong to spend time with Claire and he's gotten self-distracted and he shouldn't have done that. And remember Claire's at the fridge because she came to, like, see how it was going. Yeah. But he doesn't know that Claire is there. And so mm -hmm. Claire hears all this stuff about oh. how he was... It was a mistake, and he shouldn't have done it. And then he listens to her voicemail. That's basically her saying how proud she is of him and that he loves him and always had a crush on him. And then that's mm, when yeah. then that's when Richie comes up, and he's like, what did you just do to that girl? And then that's when... Yeah. Because that's the other thing, too. Their relationship, I feel, has been not severed because they bicker at each other all the time, but, like... Carmen was calling him a deadbeat dad and like he was a loser mm -hmm. to his kids and everything and and he just wants to be Carmen that's the only reason why he's around he just looks up to him he wants to be. so like super heated super like such a real does gut wrenching scene does season 2 end with him still in the fridge I think it ends with them cutting it or does okay. he get out? Yeah, you're right. I can't remember, but I think you're right about them cutting it. 
Yeah, I remember them but, cutting it. Yeah. He just has... He's so volatile, so he has this ability to get really close to people and then just explode. Yeah. He needs therapy. He, That's what he needs. Well, he's going to those... He's a lot of therapy. He's going to those meetings. Dude, that... He is going to those meetings. That thing where he talks for, like, 10 minutes... Mm-hmm. Where it just slowly zooms in on him. Oh, another one shot. That so was good. so cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's so, so good. Okay, so is your favorite episode the family reunion episode? Is that the one you were talking about that's like no. best well, episode? Yeah, that in- one's the... Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. My favorite episode is Forks. That one's so good. That's probably that's that's my favorite. If I had to like rewatch an episode over and over again, yeah. it'd be that one. But the Christmas episode is so well done. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> it's insane. Throw another fork at me. It's just like he th- him throwing forks so hard at point blank <laughs> is Can you imagine if you were at that dinner and somebody yeah, did that? Yeah. I'd immediately be so terrified for my life. Oh yeah. That could super, you could super stab a fork in his A hundred percent. And then Jamie Lee Curtis, she just drives her Dude, car through the freaking wall. She did it's so All of good. it's great. She is a horrifying, horrifying person. She is such a good actress. Holy crap. Yeah. Holy she's crap. So good. It reminded me of Freaky Friday. Because <laughs> she's in Freaky Friday. <laughs> It reminded but, me yeah, of no, everything she, ever all at once when she body slammed yes. somebody. <laughs> when she had sausage fingers. Um, mm. But yeah, that I mean, that episode's so long and it's so stressful. So stressful. And I hate it and I love it. It's so good. <laughs> and when they make John Mulaney say grace. <laughs> and he's like, man, please bless. Um, what was his name? Mark? Was oh, it Mark? What's John Bernthal's character's name? Oh. Um, I think it's Mark. John. He blesses him to put the forks down. Mikey. Mikey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Why is he not on the main cast? <laughs> he's hardly in the show. I guess so, but he's they still talk about him 24-7. He's probably been in three episodes. He's been in three episodes. Yeah. Oh, really? Literally. Look at that. <laughs> I'm a great, great guesser. Okay. Well, yeah. It, please that, watch I think it. Is, yeah. Season three comes out June 27th. 7th. Yep. That's what I was going to say. Um, on Hulu... And they're dropping it all at once. Yep. So, I mean, it's a pretty quick watch because it's only 18 episodes, and some of them are really short. Some of them are really long, but some of them are really short. 18 minutes, I bet a lot of you take a lot longer than that to poop. So, uh, (laughs) I would say, you know, (laughs) give it a watch. Give it a watch. It's a very nice break from um, most of other TV. Yeah. It's not superheroes. It's not magic. It's not spies. It's not. It's just plain old regular human being people, but they're all psychotic. They're all crazy, which is so fun. Yeah, it's not your your friends or How I Met Your Mother or yeah anything like that. It's just it's hardly funny, but it is when it needs to be. Oh my gosh, it is so funny sometimes. (laughs) But it's just really good. Hey. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah. That's all she I'm wrote. I'm stoked for season three. I'm so excited for I'm it. I'm so excited. I haven't been excited for a show like this in a long time, A actually. long so time. I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah. I would say the last time I was this excited for a, season, a, a show where I was actually allowed to be excited without being scared was probably The Mandalorian season three, and that let me down so bad. It's been a it's been a couple of years. Yeah, you know? I really really hope season three of this is not bad. It just doesn't seem like something that they can mess. They have not shown at all their ability to mess this. I up. know. I know anything's possible. I know, 
but they've just done so I, good. I don't know how they can. Yeah. Will you make two... I don't know, Mandalorian, the first two seasons were super good, but this is also, yeah. like, really, really good, though. You know? Yeah, it's really, really good, and it's not even playing off of something you already love. Yeah. It just makes you love it yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. So the fact that it can do that as well as it did gives me a lot of hope. Yeah. I'm really not worried about it at all. It's not the Acolyte. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't watch the Acolyte. Nobody watch it. I'm Everybody cancel your Disney Plus. I so want to watch it now because of how bad you're saying it Just, is. How about do this? Just watch episode three. Okay. <laughs> and you'll know what like, I'm Like, I really, about. I'm like... How? Watch the first 10 minutes of episode three just, and just tell me what you just think. Just 10 minutes? Yeah, watch five. Watch the first five minutes of episode three oh and tell me gosh. what you think. It's that bad that quickly. Or just pick pick any five-minute period of the episode and watch it. Okay. <laughs> that it would actually be really funny. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Or three. I mean, you can watch 30 seconds. Just pick a 30 <laughs> seconds and it's bad. <laughs> Just watch 30 seconds. It's just somebody walking. Do this. This is the most boring thing I've ever seen. Do this. Pull up the episode. Click on any any timestamp and just watch it until you feel like you get it. Okay. <laughs> It'll be... And let me know how long that is. Okay. I'm actually very curious <laughs> to know how long it takes you to, to know, oh, I get this I now. get this show now. Yeah. Okay. Um, next week will be Inside Out 2. Heck yeah. So I'm going to see that tomorrow. You're seeing it tomorrow? Yep. Nice. Uh, make sure to spoil everything for me. I will. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I will make sure to do that. We'll have that next week. So, Inside Out 2 next week. Inside Out 2 next week. And then Hitman. Hitman the next week. The next week. Yeah. And then probably The Bear... If we yes. have time to watch Hopefully. it all. I'll definitely Hopefully have time to watch it all. It depends on if you'll have time, because me and Lindsay will be watching that show. You'll, oh, you're just going to sit down and watch it? Yeah. I'm going to have to take like another trip by myself to Vegas, because that's how <laughs> I watched it. I just sat in a room alone and watched three to four episodes of it per night. And then you were done in like two days. <laughs> yeah, it was very quick. I don't know how I'm going to do that now, but I'll figure it out. And then... Bridgerton season three after that. Oh my God. Love is blind after that. Perfect match after Love that. Love is blind. <laughs> yes, Bridgerton. Let me make me feel something spicy. Ooh. Uh, That's all my wife's and doing. Then, I mean, and so <laughs> watching so Bridgerton. Inside out. Inside out next week. Ball, Hitman. Hitman. And then a quiet place. Ooh. That's day right. Day one. So yeah. we got we got three good weeks coming. Yeah, we got some good weeks. Hitman is on Netflix. It just came out this week. Yeah. So um, if you want to watch that in preparation, that would be fun. I think I'll watch it and in preparation. I think you should for sure. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't care. I don't care what you do. You do whatever you want. <laughs> You'll just sound like an idiot if you don't. <laughs> it's a guy. You're gonna that sound hits like me thing. on you. You're gonna sound like me on Hero. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what happened in this movie? In Spirited Can Away. Can anybody explain it to me at all? In Spirited Away. Can anybody explain even one plot point from this movie? Mm. Okay. Okay, here we go. Well, thank you for joining us on another delicious episode of Rotting Earwigs, our caulking tables wow <laughs> talented ear <earwigs. laughs> into Oliver's new type nice <laughs> type nice <laughs> what's a type knife Craig? I was trying to I was trying to think of something that's not tiny or time or what about just type type yeah it just didn't you know quite roll off new type oh, oh, oh yeah. okay yeah into Oliver's new type I maybe eat 
Maybe. <laughs> I'm looking at this article um, of, of the bear, and I'm realizing how easy that would be if we had just any any words pulled up. Because then you can just bounce back and forth and just like pick words out. <laughs> We'll have to but just, this is much harder. It builds more character. We'll have to do that. Just like have random. Just pull like, up any New York Times article <laughs> and just start picking the words out. Okay, everybody. See you next week for Inside Out. Yeah, see you next week Ooh. for Inside Out too. So, bye. 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 Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs>